WorldView GeoWeb Browser is designed to exploit geospatial data resources through Open Geospatial Consortium standards. Let's see how WorldView provides data access integration and analysis on demand to decision makers working in the societal benefit area of agriculture. OGC standards for catalog services are deployed within WorldView so a decision maker can connect to and browse the GEOS data registry. A decision maker is interested in measuring the effects of the Midwest drought of 2012. Essential to the decision maker is imagery from the Terra satellite MODIS sensor. NDVI is an index derived from MODIS and indicates the overall health of vegetation. The user has also discovered U.S. state, county and agricultural districts served as OGC web features. And detailed elevation data provided as OGC web coverages. Cropland data layers combine remote sensed imagery and NASS survey data to produce a land use map for the U.S. state's major commodities. VCI is a further refinement of MODIS data designed to single out the impact of meteorological conditions on vegetation. The decision maker can use VCI as an indication of drought. The decision maker has a lot of data now. Let's navigate to Thomas County, Kansas and check on the crops. The cropland data is charted and the distribution of the values mapped to the various crop types in Thomas County, Kansas. Note that corn makes up approximately 85,000 hectares of crop. The VGI data shows the extent of drought on the county. The decision maker can mash up the crop type with the VGI drought data to determine how much of the corn crop has been affected by the drought. The user must determine where both corn crops and drought exist. Then chart the results for Thomas County. Note that the amount of corn that is in severe drought is almost 50,000 hectares, over 60% of the corn grown in the county. The user can take this new mashup and apply it to other areas of interest, agricultural districts, drawn areas, or derived areas like drainage basin. Using remotely sensed data assures the same exploration can be made anywhere in the world. The user can see global coverage of drought conditions presently experienced anywhere. Researchers at the Institute of Agricultural Resources and Regional Planning of the Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences produced a similar index using MODIS NDVI data to analyze the cereal crop growth conditions. In this example, conditions are classified by comparison to the average of the previous five years. Blue is better, green is normal, and red is worse. Searching, integrating, and exploring the volume, velocity, and variability of data available through GEOS relating to crop production can help everyone in the process, from the farmer, the marketer, the distributor, the insurer, to the commodities investor.